Hey everyone, this one is Mission 13 and it's called a Safe Return. And it takes place on the 7th of May 2005. Alright. Now that I'm through that mouthful, this is Ace Combat 4. I'm Ryan. And I'm going to play through this with ya. So, uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, this is the crappy mission that you have to, uh, Oh, I hate this mission. I really hate this mission. Let's see if we can get any new cool aircraft, though. That, that would be a, uh, the least it could give us for having to suffer through all this. Hmm. You know what? The F-2 is pretty kick-ass, but I'm, I'm going to pass on it for now. Uh, but anyway... So we're going to take the F-15 still. Um, so this is a really dumb mission. Basically, uh, there's these radar jamming things hovering in the air somehow. Um, <laughs> so you have to take them out. Because somebody is going to uh, go through this area and needs to be semi-clear. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. What really, really sucks about this mission, though is that uh, you have limited guns, so ultimately you can't take out an unlimited number of these, because because uh, you need to take them out with the guns, and it's totally retarded. But this music's pretty cool. Um, this is the dumb... I, you know what? I, I'll just say it. This is the dumbest mission in Ace Combat 4. Um, this, is, this mission is stupid. Downright stupid. Um, but you know what? I said that a lot more in Ace Combat 3, so it's an improvement. But this game is very different than Ace Combat 3. Um, almost all the missions in here have, uh, have part 1s and part 2s, if you didn't notice. Whereas in Ace Combat 3, almost none of them did. I much prefer... Um, oh man, I lost my train of thought when he started talking. Um, but uh, I much prefer shorter missions. There's something to be said about... Um, there's something to be said about those longer missions. That Those more uh, battle style uh, battlefield uh, like o kind of open ended missions a little something to be said about them but um, ultimately I just like the ones oops missed that one <sighs> ultimately though I like shorter missions better um, just cause it's more convenient to play through um, if you die, if you get shot down, generally you're not losing quite as much. Uh, just, just keeps the game a little bit more fun and lighthearted. Uh, I'm sure you've heard me cuss quite a few times or just uh, go into deadly silence when I screw up. So, um, you know, it's just kind of the diff this is kind of how I see Ace Combat three and four differently. <laughs> And for that reason, I think I definitely like three better. Um, playing through this, uh, through these two games, have really assured me of that. Um, especially playing them through uh, them back to back. Uh, I, while I do enjoy the story here, um, there's something to be said about just uh, short, fun missions, and uh, that's something that this game doesn't have as much of. Uh, it kind of suffers for it. In a way. But this music is just stunning. <laughs> this, is, this song is seriously awesome. I love this. Um, uh, there's one. They get kind of hard to see. And find. Near the end. I got only got 400 guns left. I believe you start with a thousand guns, so... Uh, 
Having the limited amount of uh, firepower in the gun department in this game uh, does uh, separate it a little bit from other ace combats because uh, most of the other ace combats don't. Um, and I don't particularly like the fact that it limits your gun uh, count because I mean, there's gonna, uh, there's almost always a resupply line in this, uh, in here, which uh, kind of counteracts the. Uh, stupidness of it a little bit, but uh, in, in my opinion, Ace Combat is a, is a game based in arcade roots and it still remains that way today, so why limit something uh, when it's really not necessary? Um, I'd rather just have, uh, you know, unlimited missiles would be stupid, but it's uh, At the same time, limiting guns is just kind of stupid because you should you should kind of always have a, a weapon to fall back on. Um, I, I kind of feel that way about gaming in general. There should always be some kind of weapon that you can't run out of ammo on. Uh, a lot of shooters are doing that with uh, uh, unlimited pistol ammo or whatever, but, um, well, maybe not a lot, but... I know, I know, I I can think of some that do that, and uh, I appreciate that. Um, as a player, I think it's just more convenient. And uh, I mean, uh, I really don't like having to worry about ammo a whole lot in any game, so I, it's just appreciated. Uh, where'd that go? There it is. I lost it there. Uh, I got one minute left. I already got an S. This is the easiest mission ever. <laughs> but it's stupid. So, um, it, you are pl prone to fooling around in it, and uh, just don't, don't let that get in your head too much, because then you will crash, inevitably. I always seem to find a way to, uh, to uh, screw up the easiest missions when I'm just fooling around, so uh, keep it serious, uh, which is always my recommendation in any ace combat ever, at any point. So, <laughs> uh, but you guys might already know that. I don't, I don't know, honestly. But you can screw up at any time, as I proved in uh, mission 11, escort. So, you know, just dumb things can take you out, and you gotta watch out for them. Pulling around is uh, can be fun, but make sure you're not going to be too upset if you screw up, because <laughs> you will eventually. Oh no, I missed that one. Oh, and by the way, if I didn't mention this, uh oh. All right, we got some kind of enemies here. I forgot about this part. F15E. I can do these. On. Hell yeah, I shot down yellow four. That bitch liked it too. Trying to do your fancy maneuvers, and that's what happens to you. Uh, it's always kind of disappointing when you only get one hit. Missile warning. Hard enemy radar spike. Ow! Son of a bitch. 